Oh my Sorry. god, you're oh. shitting me! It's a disastrous finish here. How does that turn that much for such a short putt, man? Okay. Oh, double head. trouble at the end. Look at that finish. Eagle, bogey, birdie, double. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another EA Sports PGA Tour career mode video. Today, we are doing the final round of the Masters Tournament, and it's live, starting right now. It's not actually live, but that's just what they say, you know? Uh, anyway, let's jump into the Masters Tournament. We lead the tournament heading into the final round, and can we hold on and win this thing? We're the leader at 13 under par. We're a couple of shots clear, I think, of uh, the chasing pack. And I'm oh so excited to dive in here, my friends. I hope you guys are ready. Let's see if we can win the green jacket for the very first time. Sunday at Augusta. Three simple words that bring to mind those timeless images of yesteryear. And what lies in store today? What decisions to be made? What parts to agonize over? What roars will echo and reverberate to the second nine? Let's find Who out! will be left standing in the twilight? Trophy aloft, sporting a new green jacket. This is the final round of the Masters. Final round of the Masters, here we go. Augusta, Georgia, Augusta National Golf Club, Masters Sunday, here we go. Two shots clear heading into the final round. It's not as big of a gap as we might have wanted, but it's okay, we've got the gap. We're leading the tournament. Patrick Cantley is alongside us here. Let's see if we can start with a bang. It'd be unbelievable to start with a birdie. I, I can't remember birding this hole in my lifetime to be honest it's just such a difficult hole i find and that's a little li a little bit left i'm liking our round four outfit though that's gonna be in the heavy rough it's okay there's no heavy rough really at augusta it's gonna be in the uh it's gonna be in the rough though and uh we should be able to get it up and get it close i, I don't think we'll really have too much of a problem because i think the pin is out to the right of the green anyway so we won't be blocked out or anything like that Guys, guys, thank you so much for the support, by the way. It's been absolutely incredible, especially over these last uh, three videos with the Masters. I did want to say as well, I will probably be live streaming right now on kick.com slash the I'm doing the final match of my uh, fantasy course, uh, my fantasy course tournament, uh, the group stage, the final match of the group stage. So if you want to see that, uh, make sure to click the link kick.com slash the uh, come over there and follow me. That's where I am going to be streaming it. And uh, I'll be doing some rank there as well, probably before the match, something like that. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Let's jump in. Let's do this thing, baby. Let's do this thing. So yeah, we are a little bit blocked up, but with that wind, actually, that kind of helps us. Um, I'm thinking that's still too much. Is that enough? Probably not. So I think the way that we're going to balance this out is to do like a big high draw here with this and try and just get this to come back off the right hand side here. Just like that. Just like that. That is magical. Great golf shot. Wonderfully executed. Wonderfully seen in my mind as well. Creative genius there. And that's absolutely brilliant. We might get a little bit of a read of Patty Cantley here as well. I can't actually see my marker. Oh yeah, I see it there. It's a little bit out to the right. With all the shadows, it's hard to bloody see. Patrick Cantley from deep. Ooh, it's going to be a tap in par for Patrick Cantley on the first. So clearly breaks from left to right, but how much is the question? I think at the end it kind of slows down actually. It's the start where it breaks the most. Like right there, yeah. I was right, but it broke a little bit more at the start than I was anticipating. Gonna be a, a tap in power on the first though. Can't complain too much about that really. Power on one is always A-OK -okay here at Augusta. This hole is tough. I, As I said, I rarely birdie it to be honest. Um, but the second hole is, of course, a birdie hole. So let's go ahead and birdie that one, eh? Patrick Cantley, two shots back, coming into this final round. We got heartbroken by Scotty Scheffler last year. He was our playing partner in the final round, and hopefully Patrick Cantley won't be doing the same to us. We're going to have to be on the top of our game, I think, to win here. I really do believe that. So let's go ahead and be on the top of our game. We have Lowry and Cantley chasing us, and I think Max Holm as well is still uh, somewhere around there as well. If he's not 11 under, I think he's 10 under. But I think there was three at 11 under, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I'm just going to hit the normal driver because I do not want to risk something silly here like going in the goddamn stream. So I'm just going to take it off the right-hand side. Big draw. Is that drawing enough? Yes, I think so. Perfect. 
Absolutely perfect. By the way, if you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code Apex Sound. Mix in blue raspberry with um, with strawberry bubblegum today. Always love the blue ras and strawberry mixes. Strawberry kiwi, strawberry bubblegum, strawberry mango, any of them. It's good with any of them. All right, Cantley, what you got for us, buddy? Bang. <laughs> lovely. Simply, simply lovely, Patrick. I'm not sure it's going to be quite down there far enough. As you did take a lot off it, but it caught the hill. And it's running on down there. Good shot, Patrick. Good shot. Fair play. Gonna have about 250, yeah? 250, exactly. Well. Ooh. Ooh. Big slice. Oh, the ball. I thought the hole was on the left side for some reason. Oh, that makes this shot a lot more interesting. I love, I love this hole when it's like that. Because you can aim way out left here and just let the slope take it in. And I love doing that. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. What is it? 177 to the front. Yeah. I just want to catch the hill. Come on. Talk dirty to me. Needed a little bit more power, but good shot. 32 foot for an eagle. We'll take that. I think it actually needs to go up a little bit further to come back down around that slope or whatever. But yeah. Okay. It's not that far downhill, really, is it? It's like slightly downhill, but I'll go like 27. Definitely breaks left to right, though. I think it might break left to right a little bit more at the start, too. So I'm going to go out a little bit extra there. Yep, that's good. It's a good read. Really good read. But just a little bit. Too little break. So Patrick Cantlay is going to have a birdie chip here, whereas we have a 3 foot 7 inch birdie putt. We potentially have a three shot lead here depending on what lowry and home are doing early doors but patrick Cantlin is going to chip it right in he's going to chip it right in so now we have to hold this to maintain our two shot lead that's a big big chip for patrick Cantlin, to be fair but a big birdie for us too matching birdies at the second for Cantley and healy and we maintain our two shot lead here our two shot cushion no one else has got to 12 under except Cantley, so it's going to be uh, Lowry, Cantley, and myself, I think, in a straight battle. Let's have a look and see uh, uh, what Homa's doing. Is Homa Homa's 10, so he's one under. He was actually he actually fell back to nine under. Wow, he's not completely out of it though. I would say it's the it's a battle really between the top four. Max Homa now has an outside shot, I'd say, but myself, Lowry, and Cantley are still well in this thing. Do I go for this? Is the question 335 to get to the front? I mean, I feel like I have to. And the reason I say I feel like I have to is just because YOLO. Oh, I clipped the tree. Man, that would have been so good as well, I think. It's fine. It's actually perfect, but I really think that would have been ideal. I would have loved to actually seen the ball flight, though. I couldn't see the ball flight, it, really, because it was too high above, I guess. That's annoying. Sorry as well. I'm a little bit stuffy for some reason. I'm a little bit sick. I've got a... A stuffy nose in the middle of July. Well, it's actually August now, so. At the start of August. All right, good shot. By the way, guys, do make sure to subscribe to my second channel, The Apex Hound 2. Currently doing some Remnant 2 videos. I'm going to check out Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow. And I'll be checking out Atlas Fallen, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, maybe some different games uh, over there this month. There's a lot of cool games coming out this month for, uh, for the second channel. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. With this one i think finesse is the correct play here because i don't really feel like a spinner or a pitch works the spinner just doesn't spin enough i find spin oh wow oh wow two unbelievable shots there patrick cantley puts it close and i said you know what i'll put it closer i'll put it closer unbelievable shot there boys and love to see that it should be two birdies here at the third and now it could be a straight shootout between myself and Patrick Cantley. That barely goes in. If this continues, it could end up being a Sunday shootout here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back-to-back -back birdies here on two and three for myself and Patrick. And we pull away from the field a little bit. Lowry and Homer are going to get left, left in the dust here. And they are getting left in the dust. Lowry's still 11 under. Homer isn't on the first page of the leaderboard yet. So, yeah, we do head to the really tough par three now, though. Uh, just not an easy hole whatsoever. I find this one to be extraordinarily difficult, actually. Um, but 
Let's see what we can do here. What am I gonna do? Is the question. Right, I'm gonna try a high, big high fade. Try and somehow get this to stop. I find it almost impossible though. That's one way to get it to stop. Hit the rim of the bunker. That was very close though. I think if we had actually landed it maybe a foot further, it would have been really good because it would have hit the fringe. And hitting the fringe in this game definitely kills it compared to um, compared to hitting the green. Like the green would have ran through, you know? <laughs> Cantley goes right of it a little bit and that's... Yeah, that's going to be a tough up and down from Cantley. Neither of us really have easy up and downs here, and we could be giving one straight back to the field here if we don't uh, we don't pull off some magic. I think Cantley definitely needs some magic here. That's a very difficult downhill shot, and there you go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. All right, 13 foot for a par for Patrick. I want to be somewhere a little bit closer than that, to be honest. And I think a pick is the only way that this works here. We want to get this up. And get it to stop as quickly as possible. Just like that. Just like that. Beautifully done. Let's go. I do feel like the pick is a little OP still, because with stuff like that, when you short side yourself, you don't really you're not really at a disadvantage because great putt Patrick for the par. You're not really at a disadvantage because the pick just stops immediately, no matter what. You know? So it's like if you do the swing right, it's gonna be in. It's gonna be not in, it's gonna be close. I feel like the blast bunker shot's definitely a little bit more realistic. Homa does get to 11 under, though. Two under for his round. He's not going away without a fight. And we do have a couple of tough holes upcoming here. That par 3 was difficult. I find this par 4 to be quite difficult as well. And there's just a few difficult holes overall. I'm going to take a little bit off the driver here because I don't want to go out into the forest on the right-hand side here. But that's absolutely perfect. Absolutely. Simply, simply lovely. Simply, simply lovely. 192 yards left, though. That's what I was saying. This hole is a is a long one. It's a tough one. Even after that great drive. All right. Not bad, sir. Wow, I do look kind of sick, huh? I look kind of pale. I think it's just the lighting, though. Cantley, fading, fading, not, not far enough, but not awful either. It's going to be a birdie putt from distance. It's a good battle between me and Patrick this so far. We're matching each other hole for hole so far. See if that continues. You take a little bit off this for sure. Not a crazy amount because it's not like viciously downhill or anything. But when you hit a shot like that, that might be a little long because it was so fast. All right. Definitely a little long. Me and Patrick in similar positions, you'd have to say. Uh, well, not similar positions, but similar distances away, at least. I'm a little further away. I think he might have been like 31 foot or something. All right. Definitely breaking left to right. I would say most of the putt. A little bit more than that, is it? Yeah. I'm under-reading the putts a little bit. Oh, my God. Could be a one-shot game if I don't make that. Or if he makes this, it could be a fucking tie if I miss. All right, let's just calm down. Let's just calm down. Oh no, I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Because now we have to get this to tie! No, sorry. If we miss this, we tie. Let's get this to stay in the lead. Oh my word. Lip out Larry and it's all tied up in Georgia with a two-shot swing. I don't believe it. Wow, three putt from 33 foot puts us in a tie for the lead with Patrick Cantley and Max Homan moves within two of the lead with a birdie on six. Jesus Lord, that's a terrible hole for us. An absolutely abysmal hole for us. Hard to believe what I just witnessed there, man. Hard to believe what I just witnessed there. Unreal. Unreal, man. What a donkey dick eating idiot. Mm, not great from Patrick, though. I'm hoping that's going to be a really struggle bus for him there. 
62 foot. I just want to get on the right tier here. No matter how close it is or whatever, I just want to be on the right tier. That's definitely still too much, even with that wind. I think this could be the one. With the wind straight into us, high fade. I just don't want to do anything crazy with the tempo. That's good. That's good. If that's a good distance, that should be decent. Yeah, I'll take that. As I said, I just wanted to be on the right tier. I don't care how close I am. 16 foot away is a good chance there. Come on. You're gonna miss this, lad. You ain't got it in yet. No, no fucking way. There's actually no fucking way. I don't believe this. This is Scotty Scheffler Sunday all over again. I don't quite believe this. Well, now we need to hold this to stay in the lead. I've had a good start here as well. Like, what the fuck is actually happening here? What am I witnessing in front of my eyes? Evade me from these lands. They're stripping me of my titles. Fucking hit it! On the swing, man. That was actually a really good line as well if I just hit the ball. And we are now not even winning this tournament anymore. In a matter of six holes, we went from a two-shot lead to being one shot back, even though we're under par for the round. Four birdies and six holes for Patrick Cantley, and Homa gets closer as well. And now it's a battle, an uphill battle for us now. Fucking hell, I don't believe this. I don't believe it! Okay. If I lose out on another green jacket because of a sick 59 at Augusta or something, because Sh Scotty Scheffler legitimately shot 59 last year at Augusta to win. Yeah, good shot from Patrick. We need to start making birdies. If I can get to the back nine still within one or something, I I'll be okay. Or tied for the lead, I'll be okay. I think I'm going to hit the three wood. I've been hitting three wood here and it's been working well, so. Yes, perfect. Perfection. That's going to be down near Patrick, a little bit behind him. We can put some pressure on here, though. Let's put some pressure on this man. 165 to that pin. I uh, underswung it. Dude, if that was another foot, it's absolutely stuck to the pin. I underswung it by 2%. That's the putt and that shot there. I've underswung by 1%, 2%, and it's cost me dearly. We could have two more strokes, three more strokes right now if it wasn't for that. I'm just hoping this isn't fucking stone dead now. All right, it does, does look pretty good. All right, it's not amazing, but no one our luck, you'll probably hold that 21-footer now, to be honest. Another underswing there. I need to stop that all of a sudden. That's a good bunker shot, though. It should be good enough for an up and down to stay 14 under. Cantley has a chance to extend his lead to two now. And to lose it to Cantley, of all people, would be truly heartbreaking. No way. <gasps> We're lucky. We're lucky that didn't go in. I thought that was turning in at the end. I really did. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Everybody just stay calm. Everybody just calm down right now. Everybody just calm the f down. Par five coming up. And I like this par five too. Let's goddamn birdie it. Let's eagle it. Who cares? We're going to have to do some magical moments in this round. We're going to have to do some magic to win at Augusta. All right, that's what it, that's what it is. We don't deserve to win it if we can't pull these off. All right, so let's get some let's get some birdies going. Let's get some eagles going. A birdie here even would be nice for the confidence. It truly would be. So let's go and miss the bunkers. Hopefully wins with us. We can carry those bunkers, go way up there, and give ourselves a chance to go at this in two. Patrick Cantlay is going to be down the middle of the fairway. A little bit left of it. Took 10% off his driver, though, so he's still going to be laying up from there. Whereas I think I am just going to aim at the bunk middle of the bunker and just send it. Send it. Fuck it. Great drive. Great drive. Now, the problem is going to be that tree. Growing it around that tree. I don't know where the pin is. I think the pin might be back left. I don't think we played back left yet, right? And I know that one of the pins is back left here. 
So I think this one might be the one that's back left. That is uh, a good layup. Yeah, it is back left. I actually think that's probably the easiest pin position um, for the second shot. But after that, it's very difficult. And the reason I say that is just because I can actually go at this aggressively. And especially with that win now. And just kind of around the door there. Just have it settle down in there. Don't hit that tree. I pr I asked you nicely. I asked you nicely not to hit the tree and you did it anyway. That's going to be treacherous now. See, that's what you don't want to do. How did I overdraw, overdraw by that much though? Wow. That's criminal. All right, we're going to have to play a flop, no doubt. That's a good shot, I'd say. We're in trouble, boys. We're in trouble. The crowd goes wild. Patrick Cantley has a putt to get to 16 under par. And we're going to be struggling to get up and down to get to 15. I mean, look at the ridiculous fucking... Look at the size of this thing. Like, this can go anywhere. It's ridiculous. It's not bad, though. It's not bad, is it? It's actually very good. We'll get a read off Patrick Cantley, I think. I hope. We're both five foot two inches. He's first. Thank God. I hope he misses this. I would love it if you missed this, Patrick. Absolutely love it. Go on, just miss it for the crack. It was fairly straight. It was fairly straight. Maybe a little bit off the left. But Cantley's five under to eight now. Above, really? I'm just going to go straight at it. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Dude, no. Like, that is not right at all. Jesus, Lord. That is just not right at all. Fix those cup physics, man. Like, what was that? I'm not even a solo second anymore, man. But that was just wrong. For that to be the way to, to get us two shots back, that is not right at all. At all. Like, what the hell was that lip out? Like, they, the cup physics at the start of this game were absolutely atrocious. They fixed them, made them way better. But now I feel like this shit happens more than ever. Like, you still get great lip outs now. Like, you actually have realistic looking lip outs. But they also have ones like that. That is not how cup physics work there. The hell just happened, man. Honestly, kind of upsetting. But what can you do? Not much you can do. We'll hit a driver down here and give ourselves a wedge up and we need to make some birdies. That's all that there is to it, really. I said I'd be happy being one back going into the back nine. We need to birdie this one. We need to hope that Patrick doesn't. Simple as that. I can't believe what I, what I just witnessed, though. Like, genuinely, I can't believe it. And that's another good one, is it? <laughs> of course it is. This is another one of those fucking ridiculous rounds now from the AI. Like, why does it only happen at Sunday on Augusta? Like, why is that? They just want to fuck me? Is that what it is? Like, I don't understand. Don't you dare spin back. Fuck that! I put it... Oh! I made it low as well, so that wouldn't happen. I thought that was going to be so good for a second, man. I really did. But not to be. C'est la vie. This is the way. Great effort. We're about to be three shots back, man. We're about to be three shots back heading to the back nine. I cannot, fa I cannot fathom this. What I've just witnessed on this front nine. I think I'm one under. Patrick Antley's about to be fucking six under for the front nine. Like, what was that? His one stayed over the edge and then drops in. Mine does the complete opposite. Uh, I feel hard done by on that front nine. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel hard done by. Three shot lead for Patrick Cantley after starting uh, two shots back. He's, yeah, he's just going, going off. All right. Well, it is what it is. We have to try and fight back somehow. We have to somehow try and fight back and hope that Cantley doesn't do what Scotty Scheffler did and just shoot 59. Because that's what it looks like right now. I don't know if there's some thing with Sunday at Augusta where like the AI is just seems implausible to beat. But that's what it seems like right now. That's what it seems like. Like the AI is just making smart decisions, hitting great shots and holding every putt, chipping in, you know. It just seems wrong. But what can you do? 
All right, little three wood stinger like we've been doing every week, every day rather of the week. Perfect. All right, we'll have a stinger way down there. Be a lot closer than Cantley, and hopefully, if Cantley makes a bogey, we're back in this thing. We just need we need Cantley to not be birdieing every hole, pretty much. And I just need to make a couple, especially on the holes coming up there. You're gonna be birdie holes. Yeah, another decent shot. He's just solid. Like he's hitting every green. You know, he's not hitting the best shots in the world, but he's hitting solid solid shots and then holing putts. I'm gonna hit a finesse nine iron here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great shot. Giving ourselves a chance to hopefully get back within two if Cantley doesn't hold this 28-footer. I mean, if he holds this, I don't know what to do. Like, he's hold, he's hold everything so far. Look at the break he's playing now. Wow. Yeah, if he holds this, we're done. Might as well call it off. Thought he had for a second. I thought he had for a second. It's downhill. It turns slightly right to left. It's not that much from here. There's a lot more from where Patrick was. Yes! 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 Back within two. Come on, I can't let Patrick Antley beat me to the green jacket. I can't allow it. All right, we head to the 11th. We head to the 11th. The toughest hole on the course, pretty much. One of them anyway. Two-shot lead for Cantley. Home is right in this thing as well at 14 under par. I'm hoping that this hole is going to be one that he struggles on. The AI and, and 12. And then we'll see if we can beat... Uh, Patrick through the uh, through the scorable section. We'll have a really good chance to win this tournament. We can get through these next two holes in one under. That would be immense. But even level par will be okay heading to the scorable section. Just hope that Patrick can't make some mistakes on this uh, on this little run here, on this tough little run. There's water everywhere, Patrick. If you want to find the water, I'm totally okay with that. Just want you to know. I just want you to know, man. Oh, that's way back. He's going to be like 250 here. Easily, right? Don't go left now, Patrick. He's laying up with a little iron, is he? No, I think to be fair, he would be hitting an iron, actually. But if you want to lay up into the water here, that'd be great. Oh, it's a good shot. It's an absolutely very good shot. Fuck's sakes. Actually, I thought for some reason that he was going to struggle on this hole, but I thought wrong. I'm thinking this, yeah. I think this could work. Just get in there and hit it. Downhill, downwind. Not bad, I guess. Probably further away than Patrick Cantley. No, pretty similar, actually. Let's see what Cantley does first. If he holds it, I'm scared. If he doesn't, we have a free putt to get within one. It would be lovely. It would be simply, simply lovely. Don't hold it, don't hold it. Fuck off, man! How does that drop in? What is up with this right now? Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Need to hold this. Nope. Nope. Three shot lead again. It's fucking ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. Three shot lead. Cantley is seven under through 11 holes, by the way. Seven under through 11 at Augusta. Now, let's see what he does at the Golden Bell. He'll probably stick it to two foot or something. More than likely, he'll put it to 20 foot and hold a 20 foot putt, actually. That's what he's been doing all week, for fuck's sakes. All right, he's got middle of the green. Long putt for Patrick. 42 foot. I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he holds it. Like, genuinely. I do think it reaches, though. Gotta get aggressive. Gotta get aggressive, and we did. But we're off the green. If he holds this, uh, it's programmed against me. And there's just no point in me even trying. I don't know. Alright, that's short. We have a slim chance to gain one back on him here. Come on. Nope. Good effort. And I said if I went level power, I wouldn't be too disheartened through those two... Uh, Two holes, but the fact that Cantley went one under through them kind of is a little bit heartbreaking, really, isn't it? But all right, we head to the scoreable part. We need to do some scoring. We need to do some scoring right now. We need an eagle. We need a few birdies at least through these next few holes. At least 
We need to get to the... Through these next three holes, we need to beat Patrick by two and be one back heading to the last three holes. That's the goal. The only way we have a chance of winning this thing, I, I, I think. And Max Holm has tied us at 15 under as well. All right. We just need like one bogey from Cantley. You know, something like show us something that it's not fucking ridiculously programmed right now that he can't make mistakes. Because that's what it seems like. All right, he's got way to the right here. He has a long second shot. He's probably going to be laying up. Maybe he makes a birdie. We need to make an eagle. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely splendid. Can't get any better. Might be a little bit of an awkward angle, but it's 200 yards. We can draw it around the trees. We can go at it. Yeah, see, we might have just a little bit of tree trouble, but I think we're actually out far enough for that to be perfect. Cantley's laying up, of course. Hopefully he lays it up into the water. Oh, good layup for Patrick. That, no doubt, is probably going to be a birdie for him. But as I said... We need to start making eagles. We want a chance, we gotta start beating him. They really want me to lay up there? Come on, bro. All right, 189, is that enough with the seven iron? Or do I finesse a six? <laughs> Beautiful shot. I know that's gonna go a little long, but really that's a good shot. Great shot. Eagle putt, 25 foot for eagle. It's a tough downhiller, no doubt, but good, good opportunity for Eagle. <coughs> the fact that he got to drop it over here is absolute bullshit, by the way. If we make this pot, we could be leaving the tournament alone again. It's so far downhill, though. Like, this is treacherous. I do think this turns a lot at the end. That's a great effort. I just gave it a little extra at the end. I didn't need to, but great effort. Birdie pot. We could be tied for the lead here if he misses this. Yeah, if he misses this and I, ma I make that, could be tied for the lead here. Double trouble for Patrick Cantley. Double trouble for Patrick Cantley. We just had to be patient, and we were. I've been oh so patient. Come on! Burry. Come on! Back in this thing. But we can't get can't get complacent now, because the AI does shit like that, and then they'll do it with Scotty Scheffler where they'll just hold it or some shit, you know? Okay. That's all we needed. <laughs> All right, it's all tied up again. It's all tied up again. Max Holm is within one. Let's see, is there anyone else at 15? No, it's me, Lowry, and Homa. That's it. Or me, Cantley, and Homa, rather. Lowry is one over. It's a three-way battle for the Masters champ for the Masters green jacket here, boys. I've usually been hitting three wood here, but into the wind, I'm going to uh, hit the driver. Underswung it and hit it slow, and that's going to be absolutely perfect. Come on now, come on. This is tense as hell. I don't think I've ever felt quite this tense playing career mode. I don't think I have, man. This is insane. The only time I feel this tense is during the Alex matches, man. Oh, this is crazy. Come on. Come on, Patrick, into the trees, lad. Minus 8.9% power. That's, that's weak as piss, Patrick. That's weak as piss, Patrick, can't lay. Come on now. Let's have it, sunshine. Can't lay. That's not great. That's not great. It's on the green, though. Play a little bit of a high draw here. Take something off this. Same thing. Worse, even. Jesus, that's shockingly long. Really? I'm actually surprised at that. I'm very surprised at that. I can't believe that's so long. All right, a little high pitch here. I want to get this to just stop pretty close to the edge here. It's wonderful. Wonderfully played. Come on. Beautiful, man. I'm hoping that Cantley uh, 
honestly gives himself a chance for a three putt. As long as he doesn't make it, though, I'll be happy enough. We'll move to the next par five with the um, with the tie for the lead. Looks like he's aiming way out right here, though. He might even have to hit it through the fringe here. Okay. Should be good enough for a par. Tied up. Four holes left. Guys, I'm getting really nervous now. Oh my god, home is tied the lead. No way. Home is tied the lead. It's a three-way tie at the top between Cantley, Homa, and Healy. And boy, oh boy, is this gonna be a fun finish. We just need to need to birdie this. Eagle here would be absolutely mega, to be honest. Oh, it's a fucking stormer. It's a stormer of a power drive. Hopefully Cantley did what he did in, in round three here as well and just absolutely botches a 216 left for us. That's very reachable. We can even get enough of an iron on that for that to be like a... I hope he hits the tree with the iron again. That would be hilarious. No, he didn't. He went right of it this time. He made sure to learn from his, his mistake, but it's still going to be a layup, so it's pretty much the same shot for him regardless. He's just not going to have to hit a three wood for his second uh, shot now to lay it up. Or no, maybe he still will. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no, he is. He's in the wood. Okay. Fair enough. Bangs it on down there, and that's going to be a wedge shot for Patrick Cantley. Oh, I just squeezed my ball by accident really hard. That hurt. Oh, that fucking hurt, dude. I just, like, went to, like, move my pants, and I grabbed my ball by accident. One of them. My left ball. My left testicle. And Jesus, did it hurt. You know when you just, like, unsuspectingly get... Ah, oh, we're good. We're good. Let's... We're good to carry on. It's a body blow, but we'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Do I take something off this? I think I have to, really. Genuinely have to take something off that. All right, here we go. Do or die time, boys. Talk dirty to me. Talk dirty to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll take that all day long. I'll take that all day long. Good chance. Good chance for a chip in eagle there or something like that. Wow. Can't lay. I just need you to spin this into the water, lad. Be bloody ideal if you did, you know? Now spin. Viciously. Oh, that's a great shot. It's a great shot by Can't lay. And that should be good enough for a birdie. I wouldn't give it to him, but it's going to be a good effort for a birdie here. It's not a gimme either, is it? It's, it's pretty close. It's about half the distance of Cantley. Three foot two inches for a for a birdie for myself. I just got a little bit scared of it, honestly, running down the hill or something. But Cantley, he's left a low. Oh, we have a putt to take the lead of the Masters. Yes, yes. Three holes left. One shot lead. Unless Holm has decided to birdie as well. Imagine home ends up winning it. God, I'd be heartbroken. We've got the 17 under par. So is home No! No way, Max! Get out of here now! Get out of here now, Max Homa! I don't believe it. Flat out don't believe it. No, that's a bad one. We've got away with it, though. Oh, we've got away with it. We've got away with it big time. 16 foot 5 inches for a birdie. I thought it was going to be in that bunker. Good thing it was long enough to carry it. It was a pull. It was a straight pull. It was definitely not where I was aiming. I wasn't aiming that far right either though, Patrick. Where the hell are you? I mean, he's playing a big draw here. Oh, Lord. That could be really good. Going to be pretty much the same as mine, actually. Give me a read. Give me a read. Go past mine. No! Oh, I was hoping he'd go past mine and I'd get a read, but... All right. I know it breaks a lot. That's all I'll say. <laughs> oh! Dude, are you kidding me? Dude, if I have to end up birdieing the last to win or something, I will genuinely be heartbroken. Because that last hole is terrifically difficult. Don't hold this, Patrick. Do not make it a three-way tie at the top. He's bloody made it a three-way tie at the top. I don't believe it. 
It's a three-way tie at the top hole, man. Tell me you haven't made some sort of stupid birdie on 17 and nine. If, if Max Homa, like, birdie 17 and 18, I'm gonna, like, blow my brains out. I swear to God, like, just don't do this, Max. Okay, okay, he's parred 17. Bogey 18 would be preferable. But Jesus Christ, lad, please don't birdie it. If I have to get to 18 under to even tie, that will be sick. This is the most tense finish you'll ever see here, guys. If we clutch up now, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing, but what a birdie by Cantley there to join the playoff. Yeah, he's pretty far back here, though. He's pretty far back here. 200 yards, 200 odd yards. Where's the pin? Is the pin off the left side? No, pin's middle of the green. Okay, that's okay then. Oh man, I'm nervous. Oh, I hit it so slow. That was a nervy swing right there. I didn't even push. I didn't even push it through all the way. That is a nervy swing. Uh oh, we're in trouble, boys. I'm just hoping par par gets us in a playoff. That's all I'm hoping. Like one birdie wins us the thing. That's all I want. I'm not gonna ask for much more than that. But that's a. F oh my god, I don't believe it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't come back down this hill. Do not come back down this hill at all. Thank you. It's a good shot by Cantley, and he's giving himself a chance. He's giving himself a big chance for a birdie here. I can't believe what I'm going through right now. As a human being, I can't believe it. Please be good. Way long. It's way long. It's way long. 23 foot. Oh, it turns back the other way. I thought that as well, but it was below at my feet, so I was so scared to do that. That's still a tester as well. As long as Patrick doesn't hold this, just please don't hold this, Patrick. Please do not do something silly here. Do not hold this, Patrick. Do not. Please. I'm on my knees here, Patrick. He's got it. Right in the fucking middle. I don't believe it. Yes. All right, we're still in it at least. So Cantley bogey and a par for us gets us in a playoff, three-way playoff. Birdie for me, bogey for Cantley. I win it outright. Birdie for me, par for Cantley. It's a two-way playoff. Okay, that's that's the most likely outcome here, I would say. I don't I don't see Cantley making a bogey. I just don't. If he finishes three birdies in a row, there's just nothing I can do. You know, nothing I can do from here. If he birdies it, I have to hole out. I'm just hoping upon hoping that that is not the case. Go in the rough. Go in the rough. For fuck's sake. I'm just, uh, that's my only hope is that he just doesn't do anything silly here, you know? Good shot. Good drive. I think I finally hit a good one here at 18. Yes, I have. Stop. Yes, perfect. Perfect drive. Because I've been hitting poor ones here on 18 and I've been kind of having to cut the corner and it's not been working out for me. Can't lay. Please, lad. Please, 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 just hit a bad one. Fuck off, it's coming right back to the pin. I mean, what the fuck can I do against this shit? It's a fucking joke. We've been hard done by here. I really do believe that. We've been very hard done by, in my opinion. What can you do? This is the way. That's a golf shot. And by that, I was sarcastic. It was a shit golf shot. We've lost the Masters, boys. We have unfortunately lost the Masters Championship. That is heartbreaking stuff. It really is. It's hard to take, honestly. It's hard to take, considering I was leading after all three days. But, I mean, Cantley came in and shot. What is he going to shoot? Fucking... I think he has a putt to get to 8 under for the day with a double bogey. You know, it's like, what can I do with that? 8 under, I would have had to shoot 7 under to win outright. And I just didn't have it in me today. A birdie for me would have got us into a playoff, but it's not going to be a playoff. It's going to be a fucking win for Patrick Cantley. I forgot I don't have commentary on as well. Every single fucking time I play with Alex, I forgot to I forget to turn it on right after. Every single time I say it to myself at the start, turn it back on after. Nope, didn't. I forgot. Okay, a good putt for his par here at the I mean I shot a four under round. I shot a solid round. Cantley is gonna shoot a ridiculously good round, unfortunately. Nearly misses that. I would have loved it if he did. I would absolutely. It says it's Scotty Scheffler too. You know, I don't think that's Scotty Scheffler. I gotta be honest with you. 
It's a T2 finish at the Masters tournament. I am heartbroken, guys. Another second place finish at Augusta. I don't know what to say. Let me know what tournament you want to see me do next, or if you want me to just skip straight to Oak Hill. We could do this uh, Meskite Classic at Wolf Creek, or we could just skip all these tournaments and go straight to, to Oak Hill at, at the PGA Championship. Either way, guys, I appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you so much. This is going to sting for a while, but we'll bounce back. See you next time. Peace out. Break.